Hi everyone, it's Nicole Noasad here for Jelly Bean Soup. Today I'm going to share with you how you can create this really great, easy DIY rustic frame um, design for a wedding ceremony. So I have a few Jelly Bean Soup supplies here. I have one of the rustic frame mixed media frames. It's a 12 by 16 frame. I also have a pre-cut design here that I've cut from some gray vinyl. I have some transfer tape and just some little floral arrangement I got from the craft store. So I'm going to go ahead and just weed out the vinyl. So what weeding is, is really just taking apart any part of the design that you don't want to have transferred over onto your wood background. So in this case, I just want to have the words and nothing else remaining. So I'm going to be taking out all of the other little bits of my vinyl piece here. I like to kind of cut as I go just to keep things simple. Um, I find if you kind of let the vinyl bunch up a bit, you're going to get it stuck over your letters and then you could split one of the words in your design. So you don't really want to do that. So keep it tidy as you go. Once you get the main piece off, then you can go ahead and start taking out some of those little tiny bits that are inside of the letters from when they get cut. Just remember that you want to remove all those little bits um, because anything you don't remove will get transferred over in the next step. So make sure you take your time and just go through with like a little paper piercer or a weeding tool if you have one and just remove all those little tiny bits. When you trust when you cut this when I cut a design the lucky thing is you kind of get a little bit of an imprint on that uh, clear backing sheet there. And so if something does happen to move or wiggle around a little bit don't fear because you can always line it up fairly nicely with that um, imprint that's left. Now I have two pieces here of transfer tape. I, I've used them from another project. You can reuse it. So don't feel like once you use it, you have to throw it away. And I've just lined that up over top, making sure I'm covering all the words in my design. And I'm just slowly peeling off the back. Um, you can see here some of the little tiny little letters wanted to stay on that white backing. So just take your time with some of that and roll it off nice and evenly until your whole design is on the transfer tape. So now you're ready to go ahead and add that to your wood background because this rustic frame already has that pre-painted white surface it makes it really easy you just need to line it up where you want it and scrape it down with a scraper um, even if you have an old credit card or a room key from a hotel you could use that too just something to kind of flatten that vinyl right onto the surface and then slowly remove your transfer tape and you can see everything is perfectly lined up um, where you want it so next it's just making sure you have your design ready to go. I've picked up some of these floral pieces from the craft store and I thought they would look kind of pretty on this rustic type design. Um, this is going to be for a wedding so I want to make sure um, that there's some prettiness involved. So I've just kind of kind of arranged them in the top area there that I left open on the rustic frame. And the best thing really to do with these is just to get a hot glue gun and glue these things together just to hold them in place um, so that when you put them onto the wood frame, they're all in the area that you want them. So you don't need a lot of hot glue, but just a few little pieces to keep things placed where you want them. And then I'm actually going to just take some of this twine here, it's just like a natural hemp twine, and I'm going to wrap that around the end of the stems just so it kind of pretties it up a little bit um, and adds to that rustic feel on this wedding surface. You can fool around with things as you have it kind of grouped together and anything that you think needs to be held a little more in place that you don't think that twine is gonna hold, feel free to add more of that um, hot glue just to kind of keep things in place. And this twine actually adds like a, just a nice little decorative element around the end. So now I'm going to go ahead, once I have that on, and I'm just going to tie that off just into a nice little bow, just to kind of pretty that up, the string up a little bit and have it hold in place a little nicer. And then because I have such large loops, I'm going to actually pinch them off together in the middle and fold over and make that into kind of four little bows instead. And then I'll wrap the twine around the middle of that um, just to kind of hold it down in place. And that's instead of cutting everything off and making my twine smaller. So now I have a bit of a double loop here. I am going to break off the ends of some of the stems. You can see there that they're um, a little uneven. So I am just going to take a pair of scissors and just trim that off right away. And I did find that I left one of those little pieces inside one of the letters. So it was easy just to remove that. So I'm going to trim this off here right away. Just a little snip and bend and a whole wad of, of uh, hot glue to the back of my floral design and then just simply press that in place and that wood surface will hold it really nicely on the top of my design. 
And you can see it doesn't take long to create your own DIY sign for a wedding or any other occasion. Um, just a couple simple supplies and you have your project all ready to go. If any of those leaves just wiggle around, just feel free to hold them in place, add some more hot glue, and then your project is pretty much complete. What I decided to do after I got the whole wood surface together is just splash tiny little droplets of black ink onto the background, just adds to that uh, really rustic feel that I wanted to have for this wood project. I really love this sentiment. There's so many fun sentiments from Jelly Bean Soup from the Silhouette store. This one will be perfect for our wedding that I'm going to coming up. And I hope you'll give this one a try. We'll see you again soon on the Jelly Bean Soup blog. Bye-bye.